nation, no matter the location, from OAK LA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and I am joined live with Raiders linebacker Nick Kwiatkowski. Nick, dude, thanks so much for joining the show. Glad you're here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Nah, man, I'm a man of many words, as you guys can see. This interview might only be three minutes, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. So, Nick, I got a few questions that I want to go ahead and ask you, but before I get into them, some people might not know who you are. I mean, some people might get you and I confused. I mean, I know somebody thought I was Nick Kukowski when I was visiting Las Vegas. We're basically the same height, 6'2", 242 pounds, both 28 years old, both from Pennsylvania. The only difference is I didn't go to West Virginia, and I also didn't have 81 tackles this past year for the Raiders. A sack, a incredible one-handed interception. Don't tell you this, though. Uh, I think you should have had two picks. Three tackles for loss and one forced fumble. Nick Kukowski is one of the best linebackers, if not the best linebacker, on this Las Vegas Raiders team. So I want every single person right now to show my man some love. Type 44 down in the comments if you have no idea why you're typing 44. This is supposed to be him, and he is repping the number 44 there. So, Nick, the first question I got coming up here for you is obviously – Paul Gunther's scheme didn't work last season. The Raiders go out and hire Gus Bradley. What are you most excited about Gus Bradley's system? Like, what's the most exciting thing? Um, I mean, there's a list of exciting things, but probably just day one he came in, his excitement, um, just Gus himself, honestly. I mean, he was a guy who brought the excitement. He was, you know, more than happy to be there day one. I mean, all the uh, – <clears throat> the assistant coach is excited. Just their excitement to coach the Raiders was day one. But as for scheme, uh, the, the simplicity allows us to go out there, play fast, play hard, take the thinking out of it and just, you know, play football, which, you know, everyone loves to do that. I like that a lot. I like hearing that kind of stuff because I knew I do know like the whole Gunther system was kind of complex. And you and I spoke in Vegas and you basically said the exact same thing. So simplicity, that's what I like to see. So Monday night football, big time game. I'm going to make you look into your crystal ball here, Nick. I want a score prediction. Raiders versus the Ravens week one. Are the Raiders going to come out on top? Are we going to get this dub Monday night football? Before Nick gives his answer, I want you all to go down in the comments and let me know. Score prediction, Raiders versus the Ravens. What you got? Score prediction for me, Nick. I'm, I'm not going to give a prediction, but what I will say, uh, we're going to be ready. Um, <laughs> be ready. We're going we're gonna, to – we'll be ready. We'll um, – we're excited, you know, Monday night to open the season off, new stadium, uh, fans are back. I mean, we're, we're, gonna, we're excited and we're ready. So I see Untouchable Raider 1960. He's going to go with 30-24. Jesus Karat says 27-20 Raiders. I got 3-1-6 Raiders saying 31-24. To me, that sounds like a W. It's just win, baby. Even though you're going to give me a score prediction, I'm just going to go ahead and say that you're going to pick the Raiders anyway. All right, man, last season you were wearing the green dot on your helmet. For those of you that don't know what that means, that to me sounds like he's the quarterback of the defense. He's the guy that's going to be able to listen to what's exactly happening from the coaches. Do you plan on wearing the green dot again? And with your first season last year, what kind of honor was it to be like, all right, I'm a captain and I get to wear that green dot? I mean, it was a huge honor coming in there um, as a new guy, a new free agent. You know, get it, getting a captain patch, getting the green dot. I mean, just having the trust of the coaches and other players that have that responsibility. I mean, it was a huge honor. Um, as for this year, I mean, we're going into camp here in a few days. I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm ready to do it. I'm uh, more than willing to do it. I'm excited to do it. I love wearing the green dot and being that leader. Well, I'm, I like to hear that stuff. I'm hoping that you're going to wear the green dot. I've actually projected you're going to. You might not watch the Raiders report a lot. If I say something's for Chucky heads, it means that I think it's 100% going to happen. So I would say, is Nick Krakowski going to be wearing the green dot for the Raiders this year? For Chucky heads, believe it, baby. If you guys are always trying to stay up to date on everything going on around the silver and black, if you're a diehard fan, like where it comes out in your veins, like you're bleeding that silver and black stuff, then this is what you need to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the Raiders Report. Getting close to 80,000 subs. We're going to keep you guys updated with training camp, preseason, the regular season. And if you want to ask Nick Kwiatkowski a question on today's live show, you must be subscribed. All right, man, I don't know about you. I skipped lunch today because I had to get ready for this interview with this Raiders player. So I'm starving. What's the best place to grab a burger in Las Vegas? Because for me, dude, there's nothing better to me than a burger. Where's the best place to get a burger in Vegas? It's easy, Barco Burgers. Um, easy, okay. I know, I know, I know you've had it. Um, I've had it. I got my own burger there, the Kwiatkowski Burger. 
Um, you know, I eat there during the off season a lot. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it could fill you up. It could fill yeah, you up. Yeah, it's definitely definitely my go-to spot for a burger in Vegas. So I've actually had the Alec Engel burger. The burger that you all see on screen right now is the Grakowski burger, and it is a double patty. Habanero Jack Plus White Cheddar Cheese, Stacked Fries, Over Easy Egg, Mile High Crispy Onion, and Code Sauce. So I don't know if you know this. I actually went to Vegas two years ago, and I tried to find the best places to watch Raiders Bar. Barcode Burger came in number four on my list because it's three miles off the strip. It's a great drink place. It's got also casino-style games. Best burgers, and I know you also like fries because fries are on your burger, but they're gourmet fries as well, dude. Absolutely crazy, and I also know a lot of other Raider players go there as well, like Jalen Rashard. He's got a spook wings. They kick my ass. I just can't do them. But the Ingle Burger, the Kukowski Burger, if you guys love burgers, please go check out Barcode Burger. All right, y'all, how about this next question coming in here because um, I am really curious to see how you answer this. Do you want the Raiders to trade for Devontae Adams, one of the best receivers in the league, 115 grabs last year, 18 touchdowns, could be that number one. And I want everyone down in the comments section, T for trade, P for pass. Nick, look at this Adams picture that I got from Raider Rang on, on Instagram. He looks good in silver and black. Do you want the Raiders to go out and trade for him? So, I mean, that's above me. Um, <laughs> but I will say, I will say that, I, I mean, I did have the opportunity to be in the same division as him and prepare for him twice a year for four years. And that's not an easy task. I mean, he's definitely a top receiver in the league. He's not easy to prepare for. Um, you know, he's uh, he's one of the best in the league. I mean, so whatever happens, uh, he's going to, you know, make a team happy. So Devontae Adams to the Las Vegas Raiders. Four Chucky heads? Yes? No? Smart. All right. No, I don't blame you. You don't, you don't have to answer that. But either way, everybody out there right now definitely would love to see Devontae Adams in some silver and black. All right. So the next question I'm going to hit you with here, dude, is give me a sleeper on defense. Like, you know, you're one of the bigger name players. Crosby's one of the bigger name players as well. Even a guy like Gakwe. Can you maybe give me a under the radar style of dude that could jump out? You were a player that really, uh, when we talked, said, hey, I like the preseason. I needed the preseason when I was a rookie. Maybe is there a rookie out there? Is there a UDFA? Maybe it's just some under the radar player that you're really excited to see. Um, and I could pretty much say the whole thing or the whole rookie class. I mean, in the uh, training camp, it's a great time to see what they can do. Um, you know, it's a it's a jump from you know college to the NFL. But I'm excited to see Devonte Oblo. Uh, you know, he's a linebacker in our room. Excited to see what he can do. Um, you know, I mean, just the the rookie class. I'm gonna leave it at that, and then. Uh, we have a couple guys, you know, just you may not have played much last year that I've seen in practice that can really, you know, jump out on the field. So I'm just excited to get in this camp and see everyone, you know, in this in this new system. No, I'm 100% with you. I'm excited to see Divine Diablo, rookie out of Virginia Tech. Unfortunately, right before we uh, started to the show, they placed Diablo and Isaiah Johnson actually on the active PUP list. So hopefully you can get some healthy. I know he's been battling some stuff here and there. Uh, Nick, I don't know, you know, we talked about, you know, MMA, boxing. There's a lot of different stuff going on. I don't know if you've seen this whole trend where professional athletes challenge YouTubers to fight. So my question out there for everyone watching right now, if Nick and I were to get into a boxing match, who's going to come out on top? If you think it's going to be Kwiatkowski, type K. If you think I'm going to go ahead and win, type R. So Nick, you and I were boxing. Who's going to win? And how would you knock me out? Because I'm an honest man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to take myself always. Okay, okay. Um, you know, I mean, I, I give you a couple rounds, though. Uh, I appreciate that. Fourth, third or fourth round. Third or fourth round knockout. See, I almost feel like that's more humiliating, where if, like, you let me linger around, like, the ninth round, and then by, like, the tenth, I'm so tired and dazed, and then just done. So my question I did want to ask you is, you know, we kind of talked about the possibility maybe of doing another Raiders show in the future. But next off season. You and me, boxing match in Las Vegas, charity of your choice. Would you do it? Nah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't right. know. We'll about, talk about it in the right. offseason. All right. If you want box, how about a competitive eating competition at Barcode Burger? Because I know he's got that $69 burger. Yeah, I would absolutely do that. You I have yet to that? try that, and I've, I've been okay. telling him I want to try it. Okay. That's, uh, you, I can't do the spook wings, but 
the burger. I'm 100% down for that. Uh, the spook, I love the spook wings. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm such a girl when it comes to the spook wings. I <laughs> can't do that. All right, the last question I got for you is a lot of good free agents out there, some moves that have actually just recently happened. Like, I wanted Brian Poole. He was a player that I liked a lot. Steven Nelson recently signed. And one of my most recent videos, I talked about Geno Atkins. Is there, like, a free agent out there on the mark that you're like, hey, man, I play with this guy, or I, I just want to see him on the team? Um, that's hard to answer right now. I mean, truthfully, uh, I try not to follow that stuff that much. Um, I think it's important right now for us to, you know, see what we have in camp and kind of go from there. Um, I haven't really been following the free agency stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, just once we get into camp and kind of see where we're at, I mean, that's something that could be maybe answered down the road. But as of right now, I mean, I have no one on top of my head. I got you. I got you. Well, the easiest way to stay up to date, maybe on some Raiders free agency rumors, is by subscribing to the Raiders Report. Uh, I know you're very active on social media. About two tweets in the last, I don't know, two years maybe, and not too active on IG either. But it's all good if you're trying to stay up to date. If anybody out there is trying to stay up to date, going on everything around the Las Vegas Raiders, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe.